You're listening to the Confidence Coach Podcast, episode 59, Shiny Object Syndrome. Today, I want to talk about shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome is when you are working on a goal and you do not complete this goal before moving to the next. This can happen a variety of different ways. I know this because I would have I have shiny object syndrome. I have to be very intentional and very focused on what it is that I'm working on right now because I want to do all the things all at once. And so what I want to do is just kind of break it down, how it has affected me and how I've learned to focus my shiny object syndrome so that I can become, you know, like a master of all things and then move on to the next. Okay, so shiny object syndrome, (laughs) you literally want to do all of the things all at once. So you're that person where you're like, watching the news or you know you're listening to the radio or you're seeing people on social media or hell you're even like out and about anytime you see something really cool you're like oh my god I need to be doing that oh my god I want to do that oh my god that looks amazing let's put that on my list too and your bucket list is just a mile long and you never really (laughs) cross off any of those bucket list items or those tasks that you need to do to accomplish a goal because you're moving to the next moving to the next moving to the next If you guys have ever seen Family Guy, there's, you know, the episode where the guy's like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. Like, that's shiny object syndrome. Like, you're just constantly focusing on, like, what's next, what's next, what's next, and never really finishing what it is that you're working on. So that's what I want to challenge you to do. At least what I've done for me is literally think of, like, a Clydesdale or some sort of draft horse. They're pulling a cart, right, to get them to stay focused on what's in front in front of them, they put blinders on, right? So think about that. Put your blinders on, stay in your own lane, focus on what you're doing. And once you accomplish that, move on to the next. You can do this in every area of your life. I'm talking as simple as like cleaning your house, work on one thing, move on to the next. When you get shiny object syndrome, you're that person that walks around your house and you know, you're you're doing laundry and then you're like, oh crap. Okay. Well, I went downstairs and well, now the basement needs mopped (laughs) and then you mop and then you're like, oh, well now the trashes need taken out. And so then you take out the trashes and then you come back up and you're like dusting, doing a few dishes. And before you know it, you're like, where did I even start? Your house doesn't even look clean. Right? So if you're doing the laundry, like focus on the laundry, if you're going to, you know, sweep and mop, sweep and mop. If you're going to do all the dishes or if you're going to focus on dishes, like do all of the dishes, right? So stay stay focused, put the blinders on. This will help you feel more accomplished in the end because you can actually see a finished product, right? You can, you can check that box. And it's the same thing with like those of you who are, who are trying to grow like a side business. (laughs) I know how overwhelming it can be because everybody and their mom out there saying, Oh, you need to be on this social media. You need to be on that social media. You need to be doing email marketing and this and sales funnels and this and that and this and that and this and that. And you're like, Oh my God, I don't even know where to start. So you start with like five or 10 things (laughs) instead of just focusing on one. So that's what I mean. Focus on one thing before you move to the next. Try not to fall into that shiny object syndrome trap because you will never feel accomplished. You will seriously always move on to something else before you're finished. (laughs) You will always be following the crowd. So what I mean by this is you always, you really, you'll just be like chasing your tail. You know, I, I like to say like following the crowd or like chasing your tail, things like that. You're never going to be that trailblazer because you're always going to be playing catch up because you cannot focus because you're jumping from task to task to task to task to task to task and nobody can keep up with you and you don't even know where you're at in life, right? So then, so then you have this massive list of things to do and this is where that overwhelm sets in, right? This is where the stress sets in, where you're like, I have so much to do. I don't even know where to start. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to take a nap 
or I'm just not going to start this business, or I'm just not going to start working out, or I'm just not going to do this because there's so many things that I have to do, and I'm paralyzed by, it's analysis paralysis. I cannot move because there's too much to do, and I cannot figure out one thing where to start. And so that's where it's nice to have like um, a coach or a mentor or a group, because they can call you out on this bullshit and be like, hey, slow down, focused, one thing on a time, one thing at a time. You don't have to do all the things at once. And what I like to say is master one skill and then move to the next. I know that probably sounds really easy, but like, I swear we compare ourselves so much to other people. Always, 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 always in everything that we do. And we don't really focus on what we're doing. We don't really work on mastering our skill because we're always concerned or wondering like what other people think, what other people are doing. Am I doing this right? Am I doing enough? Is this the right thing that I should be doing? Is this really my passion? Is this really my purpose? Is this really the first right step? And we're just constantly questioning ourselves, questioning ourselves and comparing ourselves and Really, that's a lot of wasted energy. Think of how much time you waste overthinking, overanalyzing, worrying, stressing about things that haven't even happened. Things that you want to do but have not happened yet because you cannot slow your mind down long enough to focus, right? I know I've been there. (laughs) There's so many times where I'm like, oh my God, this is what I want to do. But you're telling me I have to do this and this, and then I have to do this and this and this and this and this and this. I'm like, I'm not even going to do it. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. And so a game changer for me is having somebody, I hired somebody to help me simplify the steps. Like what's the first step that you need to take? Okay. Mastered that great, move on to the next. And it can be that easy if we allow it to be. Many of us, myself included, love to self-sabotage. What do I mean by this? Anytime you start to make forward momentum, forward progress, and things start to feel easy, that can be very uncomfortable very uncomfortable because we're, we're told our whole lives, life is tough. You know, money doesn't grow on trees, suck it up. Life's not fair. You know, you got to work hard, play hard, do all this stuff. Everything has to be tough. Everybody has to suffer, blah, blah, blah. And so when you start to (laughs) do things that become easy or natural or are in alignment with your goals and objectives for, you know, your family, your life. And it makes us uncomfortable. So we intentionally or unintentionally just kind of depends on who you are, self-sabotage. And then we, then we say to ourselves, oh, I knew this was going to happen. Everything, once everything's going smooth, something always happens. And really, it's our own energy, it's our own being that sabotages our success because it becomes uncomfortable. And when things are hard, it's comfortable. I hope that I'm making sense. I know this sounds very backwards, but think about it. When you're just like grinding, 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 like that's normal for a lot of people. Like busy, 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 work, 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 normal, normal, normal. But when you start to exercise every day and it just becomes second nature, it's easy. People start to think like, God, what is she doing? You're like, oh, is there something wrong with me? Like exercising is easy. Or if you're making more money, working less time, you're like, oh, this is too easy. This is too good to be true. You start to second guess yourself. So then you do something again, unintentionally or intentionally to sabotage that success, to make things hard again right? So keeping you small. And anyway, so let's get back to shiny object syndrome because this, this doesn't have to be always a negative thing. I feel like those people who have shiny object syndrome, if they find a way to channel that energy, focus that energy, you could really be a jack of all trades. Like you really can. And that's a great, like that's a great 
skill set, I guess, to be a jack of all trades. Because really, you know, you know a lot about a lot and you master one skill and then you move on to next or you at least are knowledgeable in one area before you move on to the next. Okay. And it can help you expand your, expand your mind, expand your thinking, expand the things that you do in your personal and professional life. Like everybody loves a jack of all trades. And for those that don't love a jack of all trades are probably those people who are pissed off because they aren't a jack of all trades. But I'm telling you that if you guys focus and are intentional with your time and energy and what you want to do, you could certainly be a jack of all trades. Figure out what it is that you want to do in life. Okay. Write down all of the steps to be that. Achieve each of those steps one by one by one with your blinders on. Stay focused. We're not, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. We're going to figure out and do each step by step by step before moving on to the next. And then you're like, okay, I'm done with that. Now on to the next. Then you can move on, right? So once you conquer like your fitness, you can really narrow down on your nutrition. And then you can run a 5K and then you can run a 10K and then you can run a marathon. So like you're constantly like up leveling, right? You wouldn't just like come into the gates and say like, all right, guys, I'm going to run a marathon. I know nothing about running. I've never done it before. I eat like shit. I'm very overweight, but I'm going to do this. I'm not saying that's not possible. I'm just saying most people take steps, like baby steps outside their comfort zone to get to that point, right? They don't say, oh, I'm going to try this exercise and then this exercise and then that exercise. Because if you think about it, that's what shiny object syndrome is. You're like bouncing from like diet to diet to diet to diet to diet to diet and wondering why you're never getting results. Well, because you're not sticking with something long enough to actually see the results. Focus. Put the blinders on. Again, pretend you are a draft horse and you are pulling a cart full of goals. Okay? And you're heading on a path to achievement. Put your blinders on. Focus. Stay in your lane. One foot in front of the other. And once you get there, you can offload that goal, put another goal on, and get back on the road. Okay? And that's all I do. And like what I try to do is set goals per month. Like each month, I try to master one thing. You know, so if it's in my business, it's if it's in my coaching or my work or my fitness or whatever it is, like I have a personal and a professional goal each month. And that is what I focus on. So I hope this helps if you're one of those people who have shiny object syndrome, right? It's not a bad thing to always be wanting more or want to do all of the things, right? Like that's an ambitious go-getter. Like I want to do all the things. The hard part is doing all the things at once. So this is where people like myself, like you, need a step-by-step guide because sometimes we're like, okay, nope, I have all this energy. I want to do all the things all at once. And then we become overwhelmed. We become stressed. We become angry bitches. And then we wonder why nothing ever gets done. So for me, it was crucial to have somebody really just call me out on my own shit and be like, Sasha, slow down, focus on this one thing, finish this up and then move to the next, right? Like instead of, you know, 75% of the thing being done, finish it and then move on to the next. Like always give 100% or uh, try to give 100% on each item and then move to the next. And before you know it, you're gonna feel a lot more successful, a lot more accomplished. You're gonna be, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be proud of all the things you have been able to do because before you haven't been able to, right? You just were bouncing around, not really accomplishing anything. So if you're one of those with a shiny object syndrome, just take a deep breath know that you can do all the things, just not at once. Just focus. Pick one thing that you want to work on this month, right? It's the beginning of the month. Pick one thing that you want to work on and just focus on that for the next three or four weeks. Focus on that. Give it your all and then come March, work on something else. Master another skill. Keep putting a tool in your tool belt every month of the year. By the end of the year, you're going to have 12 amazing tools that you can use at, at, at your need, at your call, right? You're just like, oh, okay, I'm going to pull out this hammer and that's going to be perfect for this skill right here. I'm going to pull out these needle nose pliers because that's exactly what I need. 
right? But you can't pull the tool out if you haven't mastered the skill. So just focus, focus, focus. One thing at a time, one foot in front of the other. <laughs> I promise you'll get there and you'll feel a whole hell of a lot better when you can say, hey, look at all these things I've done versus look at all these things I wish I could do. All right, ladies, that's all I got for you today. As always, go out there, do something badass today, get out of your comfort zone, reach out to a friend, do the things that you've always wanted to do, get your plan, and just go after it. You're not getting any younger. All right, peace out. 